All right, hi guys. Um, to the child again. Okay, now we're gonna start getting advanced. Now we're gonna we are gonna start studying. Well, studying. Wow, I mean learning. We're gonna start learning. I feel like a teacher. <laughs> so you're gonna start learning arrays. There are two ways you can create arrays. One is by going to the global code, as I just did. You can, if you didn't see, you can go there by clicking script and global code. <coughs> the first way of creating an array <coughs> is int. That means integer. It's the same thing as going to variables, adding and your name right here. Integer. You got integer real. Now real. That's not a real variable name. This could. I'm not sure if this is either double or a float. But doubles and floats are also. <coughs> um. Yeah, arrays and detailed variable explanation. I think this is what this will be called. <coughs> okay, 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 okay. Array. You don't need to name an array. After the int, which stands for integer, but we're just gonna call it int or int. Okay. After, after int, you know, you put the variable name, and then in between these little half square things, I forget what they're called. <laughs> so yeah, you put however many things it can hold. So now, uh, now that you've did that, you can do this array zero, like the first thing in that. I don't know how to I don't know how to like explain, but you can have like the same variable have 48 right here different values and it can store 48 different things. That's pretty much what an array does. I mean, you have your array which is one variable that can hold as many as the max you put, which is 48 as we did. You could put 999 that means this one variable will be able to hold 9999 values so you can pretty much base your entire game off of one array I mean that would be hard but it would probably be like the best thing to do I don't know how that would work but you could do it <laughs> I'm not sure if that will help with file size it might I doubt it but then you wouldn't be able to save your variables unless you did this unless you made an array this way array 2 <laughs> Array yes, and you can the amount of the array right here. Nine 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 nine. And then you can do a save group. F. Save groups. Um, I, I'll get into save groups in the next episode. Um, so yeah. No, you remove the save group. Okay. So now we can do this array two. You can do this. Oops. Array two zero is the same as array one, so that's what you can do right there. Array one zero. See. Now, okay. Let me show you another example of that. Um, since we have that code, let's just keep that code there. The int array. Let's just keep it there and go ahead and add that. Now, make a player. Let's call him S and make a text actor called string true type font and you know just kind of pick your own font I'm just gonna pick a uh, courier I guess soft I always like soft font now from there um just type anything really all right now from here go to draw actor and then you do sprint f text um, percent d percent sign I mean um, yeah percent sign d and a percent sign d again at least I've, at least I think this is how this is gonna work we're gonna try to get the x and y position by using one array of the player so array zero oops, array two I'm sorry array two zero and array two one now right now it's just gonna say zero and zero as you can see zero zero cuz it's not gonna tell you the players x and y yet but array zero is equal to s dot y I mean x because you know we named them s array two did I type array one I did array two one equals s dot y now see the same variable just all in one variable can store both the players x and y or anything else that you want see 0 and negative 8 
And that's true because technically he's not in the middle of. I mean, if you want to make it the X screen, is all you have to do is just put screen in front of those X X screen and then Y screen, which will tell the players the screen. Um, see 320 and 232. To see how that works out very well, let's uh, have him follow the mouse by using create actor. Where is it? 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 There it is. I would just pass it up. Follow mouse. Both. Add. Yes. Close. Game. As you can see, our one variable is holding both the players X and Y. Um, that's pretty much how arrays work. Now let's get into um, doubles and all this. Okay. Double is you know your double and your name ran and yeah a double can be like 0 0.4 and all this like ran equals 9.12 and all this and that and same thing with float but like I forget which one but one of them has like a bigger decimal value you can hold I forget which one it is though um, doubles and floats are all the same thing really pretty much. I mean, unless you want to get really, really technical and make like, some kind of a super calculator, then it's pointless to decide which one you want to use because they both work the same to me. <laughs> then, um... Hmm. Was there anything else? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess that pretty much covers variables, then. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. A char is a character... Like a, a text string variable, um, it's, it stores stuff like this. A, you know, okay. Now, okay, character A equals high. I'm pretty sure you can do it like that. I think Game Editor allows that. Nope, it doesn't. So, okay, so, and then the maximum amount you can put. Actually, it's supposed to be 256, really, but. Yeah, and if you want infinity, just put a star beside it and then A then you can do this sprint F or anything other like any other text thing you want to use oops A hi now the let's just put that in draw actor real quick I'll show you what I mean yay oops I forgot the semicolon I'm sorry yeah let's put that in draw actor in the string actor mm -hmm. Okay. Now to call a string while you're um here in the sprint f command, go to percent s and the first percent d is right here, the second percent d which I don't know what the d stands for, but it allows you to read variables and percent i is like I think that's percent integer or something. It doesn't matter cuz well sometimes it does, but that's only if you're doing something like really important or something. I don't know. And then the string name, which is A. Oops, we gotta put a comma beside the <coughs> array. Okay, percent A. Now what I mean, yeah. Percent A. Dude, I can't even talk. Now he's not typing anything. And it crashed. <laughs> okay, I did something wrong obviously. And it just crashed on me. Well, um I think it's because we created the string very <laughs> Wow. Alright, well, um, at least that covers variables. I'll see you guys next episode.